Three, two. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Late Night Loft. Give it up for your host, Will Rubio! Hey! How's everybody doing today? I'm so excited to be back here on the Late Night Loft. We have a fantastic show for you tonight. Who is excited? <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, like always, you are going to be directly involved in Facebook's very first and only improv-based talk show. We have an amazing guest tonight. Um, and we want to involve all of your suggestions. So just in case we need something from you later on today, this is what I want you to do. I want you to type in um, the name of your favorite sport. The name of your favorite sport. Type it in there and we may or may not use it uh, in the future show or in the show to come. Whatever's gonna happen right now in the next 30 minutes. So, uh, with that, I have uh, a couple jokes here that Matt Matson uh, has written for me. I have not seen them beforehand, and I'm just going to deliver them to you because we like to do things off the cuff here at the Late Night Loft. Hopefully you enjoy it. <clears throat> uh, Pepsi pulls the ad accused of trivializing Black Lives Matter. Uh, the last time Pepsi, Pepsi caused such an outburst was when they gave <laughs> Michael Jackson, second and third degree burns. <laughs> Good one, Matt. That's a great one. Okay, uh, Payless files for bankruptcy and will immediately close 400 stores. It looks like the BOGO is a no-go. <laughs> that was great, Matt. Thank you so much. Thank you, Will. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have a great show. Like I said, uh, our sponsor for tonight is uh, Skittles. Try the rainbow, taste the rainbow. Uh, Skittles is not actually a sponsor, but we gotta leave space for sponsors for when eventually our show is sponsored. I had one thing to say, ah yes! Um, no, we'll announce it up there. So, Matt, take it away, buddy. Thanks, Tell Will. Tell us more about our sponsor. That's right, Skittles, you know, you put them in your mouth and it tastes like a rainbow. You're gonna love it, get them, they're original. The original 41 ounce. Ladies and gentlemen, on camera we have Lexi Hayde, and here's our technical director, Tim Hayde. Woo! And here's me on uh, keyboard. I'm Matt Matson, everyone. Enjoy the show and give it up for today's guest, the one and only Jacqueline Hale. Whoa! Hey. Yeah, there's Jacqueline. Oh my gosh. Jacqueline Hale. <laughs> Hello, everybody. How's it going? It's going really good. How's it going with you, Will? It's so good. Listen, buddy, uh, old pal. We I'm, know yeah, we, we, well. we, we go back. We go back. <laughs> <laughs> Not now! Stop it. Yeah, we go back. Sorry. Here's the thing, I'm gonna be honest with you, and you have been privy to about 30, 40 minutes of it, but there's a lot of technical difficulties <laughs> that go into the late night log. I that have we been a are, privy that to we it. are ironing out. <laughs> <laughs> Matt's on point with those sound effects tonight, I can feel it. Mm. So anyways, we're ironing out technical difficulties, so I appreciate you uh, uh, bearing with us. But ladies and gentlemen, isn't, let's get the close up on Jacqueline. Isn't she lovely? Look at this. Woo! Woo! Okay, you're going to have to slouch down a little bit. Oh. Hold on. Here we go. I got you. <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about. Technical difficulties. How's that? How's that? Is that good? That's good. That's oh, good. Man. Oh, man. So you are up to so much, Jacqueline. Oh, you know, I just, I'm just uh, doing my thing, living the dream. <laughs> what is your dream? Oh. Where do I start? I have so many. Uh, Just one. We only have time for like one dream. Oh, okay. Uh, to be an actress. Mm. Well, you've achieved that. Uh, right now you are on a TV show. Uh, yes, I am. Called Extinct. Yes, um, I'm on a TV show called Extinct. It's uh, the second scripted series BYU TV is doing. And uh, BYU TV sounds familiar. Um, there is a, another show on BYU TV. Really? Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. Yeah, Do I, I, I? That's where I know you. Yeah, that's where we met. Other than our eight years of friendship, I've seen you. I'm, I'm the guy. I'm on the host on Random, Random Acts. Acts. Yeah, there is a, <laughs> <laughs> there's a show called Random Acts. And Jacqueline is actually a host on the show as well. Um, I'm kind of like the main host, or one of four main hosts, and then Jacqueline Oh, he, he's, he makes that show. Oh, stop it. Stop well, it. they all are great, but you're great. Anyway, we just launched season two of Random Act, so if you want to tune into BYU TV uh, every Monday night at 7.30 p.m., you can check I it out. I think I'm on the next episode. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jacqueline is on the, the next episode. So there's Random Acts, and then there's Extinct. Can I offer you a Skittle? Yes. Skittles, our official sponsor for today. Yeah, so, um, yeah, she, you are... <laughs> 
That's great. We got a graphic and everything. We're, we're moving on up here at the Late Night Loft. We got the Skittles graphic. It's all gravy. Um, yeah, so you have two shows on BYU TV. You're killing it over at that. No. <laughs> Just like a BYU TV princess. You are. And, Regular uh, royalty you, over there. There's going to be even more because we have we have big ideas. We have big ideas that we may have some things in the works. Yeah, we can't mention it here because it's it's not really materialized at all. But it's coming. Oh, it's, oh, it's coming. pretty materialized yeah. in here. Yeah, she's got it all worked out up there. Cheers. Even mm. though we've already drank, mine's already almost done. Cheers. Actually. I uh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so Jacqueline, uh, let's. Uh, I could. I tried to pull up the trailer for Extinct. I could not do it. I could not do okay. it. So the, the the best I got here is the Instagram page. So um, where can people find the Instagram page of Extinct? Oh, there it is. Uh, it is Extinct.tv on Instagram. Yeah. Well, you can go to Extinct.tv and see the trailer. Oh, yeah, that too. Yeah, just, that's probably a good idea. Yeah, just go to extinct.tv, as simple as that, and it's the first thing that pops up. Press play, you'll see the trailer. Awesome. Yeah. You no, I'm excited about it. I think it's going to be an, a really fun show. It's got all the twists and turns and the excitement of Lost and, and like, Walking Dead kind of feel like it's suspenseful and sci-fi. So fun. you're saying that it's better than Lost and Walking no, Dead? No, I said it's got those elements. <laughs> And it's it's uh, it's in the same family. It has elements of Lost and Walking Dead. Yeah. So there's zombies. No. And <laughs> <laughs> it's a television show. That's about no. It's just a. Uh, in that we re we internalize it. Via it's like a, a television. dramatic sci-fi kind of interesting. Follow a bunch of characters kind of format like Lost. You know, like there's a a big ensemble and you always go like into flashbacks. Like it's it's got that same kind of. Sweet. So uh, talk structure. to me. Talk to me because you, you know, you've been at this a long time. Uh, yeah. As have I, and uh -huh. we've known each other quite a long time. We met on set. We did. I I want to get this right, but I, I think it was as maybe as long as nine years ago. It was nine years ago. We met on the set of a, a, a Jeffrey Blake production. Yes, it for was U for a Utah film for the commission Utah Film Commission competition. Yeah. Oh, and that's what we should have found a clip of. I have a clip of that. Oh. We could have played the night we met. I know, the mm. night we met. Mm. But anyways, uh, but we've but, done at least, what, ten little things together since. But my question is, like, how does it feel to, you know, have this series now? Uh, because as an actor, as a fellow actor and host of Late Night Loft, there's, there's so much... It's kind of like a relief when you when you get something that could almost be considered it's a one job wonderful what you word want to, do. to describe it. Yeah, yeah, it's a relief. A relief. It's um, the gratitude level is through the roof. It's it's yeah. It's it. You just don't really know what to do with it. You gotta stay grateful. That's <laughs> you gotta stay real well, grateful. It's uh, it's great. It's like I can't. I I don't want to sit here and just be like, oh no, it's it's not. It's wonderful. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Everything about it. it. The consistency of it. That's that's a huge, probably my favorite part about it, is getting to work that long and in a space of time as an actor. Because normally, you know, you go work for like a couple days at a time or maybe a month. Sure. Yeah, and an actual character that you can develop. Yeah, yeah, that's super fun. So Ryan Little directed it. Uh, mm -hmm. What's it like working with Ryan? Ryan's great. <laughs> Ryan's really great. He's very, very, um, he's really good at his... Uh, Setups. You know what's <laughs> like interesting? He's got, he knows how to make well, it look really right pretty. I'm gonna, pull, I'm gonna pull this camera off, and we're gonna go. We're gonna go rogue here for a second. But this is Ryan, one of Ryan Little's movies. It is Forever Strong, and I was uh, one of pretty much the first feature film that I got a role in outside of uh, Passage to Zarahemla. And then over here is Jacqueline Hams. Look, she's on my wall. Yeah, I've been here in every single one of your yeah, shows. You've been on every single show. I'm gonna try to set this up again. Yeah. So, you definitely have, you have a storied history, you know? Yeah. Um, but we have worked together in the past, actually. Making well, we were own, in this movie together, obviously. Yeah, we were in this movie together. But we, we did our own little independent little sketch. <laughs> yes, we did. And we dug up the footage. We found the footage. We, we dusted it off and we're ready to show we're it. We're ready to show it. So this, I want you guys to check out. A, um, a, a a sketch, yeah, a sketch that we a bit, yeah, yeah, we we did it, and it was, it, I I came I came up with the idea after I, we did an improv, um, you you'll see how <laughs> That's it goes. Right, but I remember it involves now. race, misogyny, 
and all the stuff that make a good comedy sketch. So go ahead and roll that beautiful bean footage. Jamie? It's pronounced Jaime. Um, Jaime, sorry. Um, I was told to come in here for the interview. There must be some mistake. I'm waiting for a uh, Marta Belmonte. Well, that's me. Actually, it's pronounced Martha Belmonte. Actually, it's pronounced Belmonte. D uh, Belmonte. 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 Do you have a problem pronouncing your name the way that it was intended to be pronounced? Mm. Perhaps you have a problem with a Latin man in a position of power. What? No. I... With a window office. Oh, what? No, I... I Perhaps I, I... you would feel more comfortable if I had a leaf blower in Excuse my hands. Excuse me? Maybe you want to conduct this interview to me in front of the Home Depot. Hmm? Excuse me? Pick me, pick me. Do you want me to wash your car for you? This is enough. You want me to empty the waste basket I for you? I cannot believe what I am hearing here. How dare you accuse me of discrimination? Somebody with your lack of pigmentation could not possibly know what discrimination is. This is not about me being white. This is about me being a woman. Besides a secretary, there wasn't a single lady out there on the what? floor. What? I would love to be a woman. You can't compare being a Latino to being a woman. Being Latin in this country is a cakewalk compared to being a woman. <laughs> Please, this gets me arrested. It gets you out of speeding tickets. This gets me sunburned. It gets you scholarship. I don't see this getting me any free drinks at the bar. Do you know what it's like to make 77 cents to the dollar that a man makes for the exact same job? Do you know what it's like to grow hair in places that you don't want to grow hair? Actually, I do. Okay, the only difference is you can let it grow. You can go to the beach, scare children, looking like a bear in a speedo, but you know, I have to yank it from my body with hot wax. I know pain. You don't no pain. Pain? Tell me the last time you were a little Latino boy who's sitting on the couch minding his own business, but his mother thinks he's doing something wrong, so she flips up her chancleta and throws it at your head at the speed of a bullet. When was the last time you were a 10 year old Latino boy who set the table wrong so his father comes up behind him with a belt and he folds it over like this and he snaps it into and he makes that sound that pierces your ears and he says, Guarelo! Huelelo, which literally means smell it. Smell the leather with which I'm about to beat you with. Hmm? I would have loved that. To feel anything from them. Sounds to me like they, your parents cared a lot about you. Yes, it hurt, but at least they were there. At least they touched you. I would have loved to feel anything. They were cold, emotionless, what? distant, busy. Making money. I have money. I forgot I had kids. I get, I get the point. I was a byproduct. Yeah, I get it. I haven't seen my mother in two years. That's awful. I, I still live with my mother. You still live with oh, your I mother? Oh, I don't live with my mother. She, she has a room at my house. It's, it's, it's a long story. Please, sit down. This you is... should not have lost my cool. I... No, I lost my cool. It's you cool. were beaten. No, I, I mean, it's not like that. Every Latino gets beat. It's not... I'm so sorry. No, I'm sorry. Please, please, sit down. Okay, sit down, I'm please. Sorry. I should not have lost my cool. No, so it was my fault. You're a fantastic person. No. If I'm the interviewee no, here. Please. I mean, Look how far you've climbed no. up the, the ladder of success. I mean, it's, it's a window office, but it's not a big deal. No. Big, my own extension number. You know, it's, it's not a big deal. It's Maybe not. I'll get my own phone. Perhaps. <laughs> that day's probably today because your resume is fantastic, your references, everything is perfect. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. I, oh. um, let's go over to HR and talk to them and I'm make so sure everything's in order. Unfortunately, the position has just been filled. What? You are watching Will We Be Comedy? Hey! hey. <laughs> oh, those that. were the days. Those were the days. That was fun. That's when I used to do that Farrah Fawcett look. Yeah, it looked great. Listen, the, the most, that, that video has a ton of views on YouTube and most of them are about how the, you look very pretty. <laughs> they had nothing, they didn't even watch the sketch, they just watched you the whole time. Well, how does that I feel? mean, 
You know, I had lots of feelings go along with that. Where so you, you think start? you're pretty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to play a game right now. It's called 185. Jacqueline, I don't think has ever played it, so this is going to be fun and interesting. 185. <laughs> Great, the game of 185. <laughs> Matt, do you want to explain the game of 185 to the people? I, I would love to, Will. What's going to happen in 185, it's basically there's a joke set up. The joke goes like this. 185 blanks walk into a bar. The bartender says, sorry, we don't serve blanks. The blanks respond with punchline. So this is going to be a very punny game. So we want to get the things from you. So start thinking of things that might walk into a bar that don't actually walk. Weird suggestions. Keep it clean. We're a family show. But uh, then we'll, we'll all do it. How does that, how's that, Will? <laughs> that was great, Matt. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, so oh. we're going to use some of the sports that I asked you for at the beginning. So uh, we have our fish. Matt, do you have any of those sports, sports? on here? That you can play? Yes, I do. Uh, Wait, Sue Bud Francis says indoor arena soccer. Okay, so soccer. So you can use any aspect, oh, soccer. Any aspect of soccer. Yeah. So. Wait, what? It doesn't have to be like a soccer ball or something more specific than that? Yeah, you can use any aspect of soccer. So you can say 185 soccer balls walk into... Okay, I'll go. I'll go. I have nothing, but I'll go. <laughs> um, 185 soccer balls walk into a bar. Bartender says, I can't serve 185 soccer balls in here. The, ball, the soccer balls say, why not? And, and he's like, look, don't make me kick you out of here. Oh, boy. <laughs> Matt didn't like that one. No applause. On that I got one. Oh, sorry, sorry. I, uh, so 185 soccer balls walk into a bar. The bartender says, "Sorry, we don't serve soccer balls here." Here, and the bartender said, "Go!" <laughs> 185 soccer players walk into a bar. Bartender says, "I can't serve 185 soccer players in here." And uh, the soccer players are like. Why not? And he's like, get out of here. And they're like, come on, man, we want to stay. And, this, and then finally he's like, hey, I'm not paleing with you. Pele, Pele. Um, <laughs> thank, you. thank you so much. Jacqueline, we've given you uh, No, I know. I'm, I'm trying we, to think. We have another suggestion. Oh, Just do another suggestion. Paul Hales said basketball. Paul Hales said basketball? Hi, Paul. Basketball. <laughs> Shocking. Okay, so as we're doing basketball, if there's any other suggestions, let's get uh, any, uh, any household objects that you might have. Like, write out some household objects, like a vacuum cleaner or whatever it is, and we'll use those next. But for right now, we'll do basketball. I got one. Go ahead, Matt. 185 basketballs bounce into a bar. The bartender says, get out of here. We don't serve basketballs here. And the basketballs said, uh, I got a drink and I would dribble anyway. <laughs> Zing! Okay. I don't like sports. I don't know sports. Okay, is there any other suggestions that aren't for sports? Lexi, do you know if No, I got to do it because Paul Hales did it. So yeah. Okay, so basketball. So just basketball. try it. Listen, just go for it and it'll okay. come to you right at the All end. All right, um, 185 uh, basketballs, walk into a bar, and the, bas and the bartender's like, I can't. I can't do this. There's too many of you. And the basketballs are like, why? Why not? And he says, uh, I... Uh, Orange, you listening to me? <laughs> Um, uh, mm -hmm. Emily Starr says lint roller. Lint okay, roller. okay, lint roller. Emily, another host on Random X. Yes. Yeah, Hi, Emily. Thanks for joining, Emily. I miss Emily. Uh, uh, lint roller. Lint roller. Lint roller is a suggestion. Uh, 185 uh, lint rollers walking to bar. Barner says, I can't serve 185 uh, lint rollers here. And the lint rollers say, why not? And he's like, just leave or this is going to get sticky. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I got one. <laughs> Go ahead, man. 185 lint rollers roll into a bar. The bartender says, sorry, we don't serve lint rollers. Get out of here. We're clothed. <laughs> yeah, 100. She's so excited. She's got oh one. God. She's got one. Go to her camera. She's got one. 185 lint rollers walk into a bar. And the bartender was like, get out of here. We don't serve lint that many lint rollers. And the, and the lint rollers go, don't worry. We're not going to drink. It's lint. Hey! <laughs> Catholic humor! <laughs> Okay, we have so many great suggestions. Um, Emily says she misses you too, by the way. Oh. Uh, Gina Hales. Gina, that's, that's Paul's wife. Oh, there you go. She says purse. Purse is a suggestion. Purse. purse. Gina, this one's for you. Purse, 185 purses. Okay, okay. <clears throat> uh, here we go. <laughs> 185 purses, walking to bar bartender says, I can't serve 185 purses, and here the purses say, why not? 
and then the bartender says, uh, get out of here. And then, and then uh, there's a little baby purse right there. And he's like, oh, maybe you can stay. Oh, Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. <laughs> Oh my gosh. What okay. happens when you go first? Okay, 185 persons walk into a bar, and uh, the bartender says, like, get out of here. Uh, you guys, like, there's too many of you. And the, the persons are like, why won't you serve us? And then the bartender goes, Kate, spade these people. <laughs> <laughs> the sec I the have security one. guard's name was Kate. Yeah, spade. Spade. <laughs> Kate, you, it's true. And by people, I mean persons. <laughs> 185 purses walk into a bar, uh, and they're shy purses, by the way, very shy. And the bartender says, get out of here, we don't serve purses. And the purses say, I one of the purses says, I don't appreciate that. And then they got outside, and the other purses was like, we're proud of you. Prada. Prada. Very proud of you. Prada, Prada. Yeah, that's great. Okay, let's do another one, Matt. Is there one on there that you saw? Yes, I saw Blender. Lexi Hayde said blender. 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 <clears throat> okay, uh, there's got to be a guinea pig. Um, uh, 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 185 blenders walking to a bar. Bartender says, I can't serve 185 blenders in here. And the blenders are like, why not, man? And he's like, watch it, dude. You want to go for a spin? <laughs> <laughs> I got one. 185 blenders walk into a church, and the, parishioner, the, the head parishioner says, get out of here. We don't allow blenders in here. And the blender said, you're not so pure, eh? They were Canadian <laughs> blenders. Canadian <laughs> blenders, dang it. Um, okay, um, let's, go, let's go with uh, Mop. Sue Bud Francis says Mop. 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 105 Mops walk into a bar. Um, I got nothing. This is going to go south real quick. 185 mops walk into a bar. Bartender says, I can't serve 185 mops in here. And the mops say, why not? Um, and they're like, didn't you read the sign at the front of the place? It said no mops. It said no mops. And then, and then the mops are like, uh, what are you talking about? <laughs> That's <right. laughs> That's the, I have one. That's the most genuine laugh. It was. 185 yeah. mops walk, walk into a bar. The bartender says, we don't serve mops here. And the, the mops say, is that you, Will? <laughs> that was amazing. And the mops say, uh, rank, dang it, it was, oh, bucket. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, no, she's no, got one. Go, go for it, go for it. I was going to transition gracefully out of that segment, but go ahead. Um... It was, actually, because this one's not that good. 185 mops walk into a bar, and the bartender says, uh, we don't serve mops here. And the mops were like, why not? And he said, uh, because there's a lot of other customers here, and it's slippery when wet everywhere you go. This is too dangerous. People are going to fall. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> The most practical <laughs> one of the five joke ever. It's just you know, you're, you're, you're a danger to everybody. You're a danger to everybody. Get out. Oh my gosh, that was fantastic. Um, I'd well, like I'm to out. take a second, I'm one out. more time, to thank. Oh, uh oh, you're out. It's just why. Do you want some wine? Can I put some wine in yours? Yes, please. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> to thank our sponsor Skittles one more time. Our fake sponsor Skittles. So cheers on that, Skittles. Uh, taste the rainbow. Don't mind if I do. There you go. Can we get that Skittles graphic up, maybe? There we go, Skittles. Try the rainbow, taste the rainbow. Not sure how old that is. <clears throat> but anyway, our, our next segment is uh, we, we always have to use... Can we get that Skittles graphic down now? <laughs> Winner. <laughs> uh, we always have to use... <laughs> okay. Okay, now, that, now you're being silly. All right. They didn't pay that much uh, to be sponsored that many times. <laughs> they didn't pay much at all. Um, we're gonna do, we always have to use Matt Matson because he's incredibly talented and he is very musical and he's handsome and he has a beautiful kid named Theo. Um, and so what we wanna do right now is sing a, a, a musical with Matt Matson. and Jacqueline is a very gifted musical improviser. <laughs> <laughs> so we might even, we'll go over there. Look, we'll make this happen, we'll make this easy. It's gonna be beautiful. So what I want from you guys is the name of a song the name of a song that is never the name of a song that, <laughs> the name of a song that has never been written before. That means make it, Tim. <laughs> Tim, you are drunk with power, sir. Uh, I want you to give me the name of a song that has never been written before, and then we are going to create that <clears throat> song. Yeah? yeah. Fair. Yeah, that's fair. What if we did like 
a trio. Yeah, like a trio. I like would a, I would enjoy that. Yeah, okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. We'll just we'll just feel it out. But right now, the first person to give us the name of a song that has never been written before, that means make it up. Uh, we're gonna sing a song. And it's gonna be great. It's, it's gonna, gonna be, be great. Fun. It's gonna be great. You know why? Because it's about uh, having fun, right? That's all. That's all okay. That's all I know. You're having too much fun, Tim. <laughs> You're having way too much fun. Mm. Sweet pillows of love. Ooh. All right, I love it. Matt, sweet pillows of love. Sweet pillows of love. Ooh, Thanks yeah. For that suggestion, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Sweet pillows of love. Should we go over here with oh, that? Oh, yeah, yeah, probably. I'll let me get this. Sweet pillows of love. Oh, yeah. Sweet pillows of love. a guy and he walked into his room and he saw his beautiful wife he said baby I look at you and think you've never given me a day of strife she looked up at him with such a passionate look in her eyes she said baby I've been waiting to hear that you just you just made me cry Pillars of love, sweet pillars of love, sweet pillars of love, sweet pillars of love, sweet pillars of love. He had a dream, his head on the pillow, and he clutched it tight, and he didn't know if he had a nightmare, but he was. Feeling alright His head on the pillow And he Felt a tear Then he felt the nightmare Just then Disappeared For the pillars of love Sweet pillars of love Sweet pillars of love Sweet pillars of love Sweet pillars of love Skittles. <laughs> one more thanks. One more shout out to one Skittles more. for sponsoring Sweet Pillows of Love. Oh, that was fun. We've had a good time. We've had a great time. Uh, we've had I a great think. time. Have you had fun? That's all that's important to me. I've had more fun than I think I than you thought, thought you would. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be brutal. We were gonna <laughs> and it wasn't. It wasn't as brutal as you thought. No, it wasn't great. Uh, we have to announce our Amazon winner from last week. Matt, do you have a little ditty for that? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, <laughs> winning the things every week. There it is. Uh, so our, our Amazon winner, that means somebody who shared this video either during the live broadcast or after the live broadcast or they're viewing it. Um, they are going to win a $5 Amazon gift card. And our winner is Heidi Fuentes, everybody. Woo! Thank you so much for sharing, Heidi. You are the brand new winner of a brand new Amazon $5 gift card. So thank you so much for, uh, for being a sport of the show. And again, anybody out there who wants to share the show and spread a little love, 
Um, you will be entered into next week win a $5 Amazon gift card. This show is bleeding me dry, man. It is bleeding me dry. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, <laughs> uh, Brian, Brian Turner won last week. Brian Turner won, won last week, and he's back today. I'm going to use my $5 gift card to buy that song on Amazon. He says, thank you so much, Brian. <laughs> You're one of the greatest, greatest supporters of the show. <laughs> so, and with that, uh, unless I miss something, Tim, I think we're going to end it here um, in, in true Late Night Law fashion by taking uh, our final our selfie. Oh, nice. Yep. Is that what that was for? Yeah, see, you go, you go up on the oh, wall. Oh, sweet. Yeah. yeah, you get yeah. to be an official guest. I'm your fifth guest. You're my fifth guest. So we'll do it like this. We stand the camera. See if this is ready. It may or may not be out of time. Oh no! There it is. It's a late night. It's gonna take a minute. I feel like you're not supposed to shake all of it. But that could be a minute. That could be a minute. Do you want to put it up yourself? Just kidding. You can't legally. I'm supposed. So once again, thank you everybody for joining. You guys have been great. Jacqueline, uh, tell them where they can find you on your socials and stuff. Uh, Jacqueline Hale is kind of my handle across the board. Just one word, J-A-C-L-Y-N-H-A-L-E-S on Instagram, Twitter, um, and on Facebook. Just, yeah, Jacqueline. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Jacqueline Hales across <laughs> all social media. She uh, needs a publicist, ladies and gentlemen. I will be that publicist. She's fantastic. <laughs> Go to Jacqueline Hales on Instagram, on Facebook, on Snapchats, on everything. Jacqueline Hales, you're fantastic. Thank you guys for tuning in to the Late Night Live. We love you. We love you guys so much. Thanks for sharing the video, sharing with your friends, and watch it and tune in next weekend. We love you. Thank you. Good night. Matt, take it away. Late night. Late night. Late night. Late night. Late night. Late night. It's so late and it's a night clock. Living in the loft. We all live up here. Late night. Loft. Late night. Loft. We love you. Love you, lofting, loving, laughing, loving the late night loft. Don't you know that you will love the late night loft? We're gonna take off the late night loft. <laughs> we'll see you later. We love you, Matt. We love I love you, you guys. Night. Honestly, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you next week, Wednesday at 8 o'clock, with a new guest that we will be announcing very soon. Night, love, the night, 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 night,